Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Diligent Minds Podcast, where I talk about your growth and your mindset, and I provide practical steps for you to become a better you. I am your host, Dorian Jones. Let's get into it. Couldn't face myself if quitting was an option. Set out the new Welcome back, Diligent Minds community. I want to say happy holidays to you all and your families. I hope everybody is enjoying themselves. When this comes out, it will be Thanksgiving week. So I hope you're enjoying your family time. Hope you're enjoying some good food or whatever it is that you do to celebrate the holidays. I hope you're enjoying that. And I also want to make an announcement. I've launched my coaching program. If you're interested or you want to find out a little bit more, go ahead and click the link in the show notes and go check out my website. Or you can also send me a message on Instagram if you just want to inquire about it. Not necessarily saying you have to sign up. If you just want to find out a little bit more what it's about, what to expect, then go ahead and send me a message. And I want to say welcome to all my new listeners. I appreciate you for tuning in. Out of all the choices you had, you chose me. And to all my returning listeners, you know what's up. I appreciate you for sticking in there with me. And we're going to get to the money. We're going to all get to it because everybody's going to achieve their goals. Mess it with me because I'm not going to let you. I'm not going to let you give up on yourself. We're jumping into today's daily tip. I want to tell everybody, don't stay somewhere if you're not happy, whether that's a job, whether it's a relationship. Uh, whether it's uh, you living in a certain location and you unhappy and you can't move or you can figure out a way to move or change your circumstances, go ahead and do that and make yourself happy. Life is too short. You need to make sure that you're always happy, that you're putting your happiness first beyond anything else. Because if you're not happy, everything else and everybody else around you will not be happy as well. So make sure that you're taking care of your happiness. That's the tip for today. In today's episode, we talk about how do you manifest your visions? You know, that thing that you visualize and you see, you're like, okay, I see it, but how do I make this come true? How does this really happen and become part of my reality? That's what we're talking about today. One definite thing is you'll only accomplish what you believe you can accomplish. So if you see something and you don't believe you can have it, if you're already telling yourself that you can't have something, then you can't have it. But if you're telling yourself that I can get that, that's possible for me. I just got to figure out the how, but I know that I can get it. First thing about it is knowing. Once you know that you can get it and you believe that you can get it, then you're going to figure out the way that you're going to get it and you're going to make it happen. You have to speak things into existence, but not only that, pair with an action plan. Figure out how you're going to get there. How am I going to get to the top of that mountain? How am I going to reach that that house that I want? How am I going to get my family set up in the way that I want them set up? How am I going to get there right now? We're at ground zero. We're trying to raise that level. We're trying to level up. How am I going to do that? That's what you need to ask yourself when you're looking to manifest anything that's in your mind. It's already there. The seed is already planted. Now you got to figure out what you need to do to water it, where you got to go take it to get the right sun, what time of year you have to do it. These are all the detailed things that you that you have to figure out. If you don't believe you can do it, then it won't happen. If you're telling yourself, that maybe you can do it or I don't think I'd be able to do that because of this or because of that. All those self-limiting beliefs that we talked about before. If you're telling yourself those things, then then it's not going to happen for you because you giving yourself that negative energy and you allowing that to to have energy coming from you. You are feeding into it. It's one thing with it being there in your face, but it's another thing with you giving it more energy and you giving it life. If you don't give it life, then it's not going to grow. It's not going to come in. It's not going to come in and and grow at all because you're not giving it that water to plant. Not to plant, but you're not giving it that water to grow. You can't have an ounce of doubt in your head. No matter how hard it may seem or how far off you may be from your goals, you can't tell yourself that that you may not get there, that you have to short your goals or you have to set a smaller goal. Nah, keep your eye on that big prize. No matter how far away it may seem, things always work itself out for my people that believe in God or Whatever religion you believe in, God always works things out for you. It's always going to work out in your favor. You just don't know that valley that you're going through. You don't know what it's going what it's going to have around the corner. But believe that valley don't last forever. It may be dark right now. It may be dark for the last 10 years of your life, but it won't be dark for the next 20. It won't be next. It won't be dark for the next five years. So just keep on tracking and know that you can that you can get there. Remove all that doubt out of your head. However hard it get, don't let that deter you from your goals. Don't let that deter you from your dreams. Continuously move in the direction you want to go. You have to continue pushing towards your desired destination. That's like if you see someone, if you see those uh, those documentaries when they in the sand, they in in the middle of the uh, of the desert, maybe in like Egypt or something. They see the they see that facade just 
far out is like an illusion. It's like, damn, that's so far away. I'm thirsty. I'm dragging my feet through the sand. I got nothing left. I haven't ate in days. But you keep going. You keep pushing towards it. You keep getting closer and closer. No matter how small those steps are, it's getting you a little bit closer. And that's what you need to know in your head. When, you, when you're doing all those small things that you don't think are calculating to big steps, just continue going. Just believe it. Trust, it. trust the process. Trust yourself and trust your process. And never look or go backwards. Don't ever look back. You don't want to revisit the same steps. You don't want to revisit the things that you already that you already got over. You don't want to revisit those past memories. Well, I used to I used to be this way or this is what I used to do. But that was the old you. This is the new you now. You need to focus on that bigger vision of what you see. You need to focus on that bigger thing of what you really want to get for yourself. Because if you don't, if you go and revisit that past, then that past is going to repeat itself. And you don't want that to happen because you've already overcame those things. You don't want to present yourself with the same obstacles that you already overcame. You already learned those lessons and you don't want to bring those back upon yourself. Me personally, if you know me or if you've been following me on Instagram or anywhere, or if you just hear me talk sometime, you know that I'm a big person on, uh, well, I'm very big on visualization. Me personally, my personality is I can see things. I can close my eyes and I can literally create a whole town in front of me and I know exactly how I want it to look and I can adjust things. If I see a blank canvas, I can go ahead and picture how I want it to be at the end. I'm that type of person. That's just my personality. I've always been that way. So I want you to I want to challenge those who are not visualization, who are not visual people, I should say. See yourself at your maximum level you desire. When I say that, I mean, when you when you set that big goal, what is that goal and where do you picture yourself being? How do you picture yourself maneuvering around? How do you picture yourself handling people? Where do you picture yourself sitting? You need to close your eyes and you really need to create that picture in your head. You need to create that painting in your head because if you don't know where you're going, then you're not going to get there. You can always say, I want to get there. But if you don't know how it looks on the other side or how you want it to look because you're creating your own picture, it's not about what others have. If you're going to, let's say if you want to go be the biggest rapper it is or be the biggest architect that it is and you picture someone else's life, it's not going to happen for you because the way that they life is is created that's their own canvas you got your own blank canvas you can create whatever you want you can make it look however you want so you need to visualize yourself when you're at the, when you're at that maximum level when you're at the top of your game where there's nobody that can touch you how do you picture yourself um looking at that point how do you picture yourself feeling you need to bring those feelings into the current reality you need to bring that into yourself right now especially with you knowing what you've been through or what you're going through right now in order to get there it's that triumph feeling where you where you got a Rocky on the top of the stairs like, yo, I, I made it like, dude, I really made it here. Like, I can't believe that I'm here, but I really made it. That's that feeling you need to bring to yourself right now. You need to close your eyes and you need to bring that into your into your soul. You need to feel that because once you get that feeling, nobody can take that from you. Nobody can never, never distract you. When you have a bad day, you close your eyes, you chill out like, all right, cool. I know I'm going through this right now, but this is my end goal right here. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to be the one shaking hands with all these people that I idolize. These people will, will be my peers eventually. And that's the that's the thing that you need to bring into yourself and that you need to put into your head and let it manifest. And my number one thing is you need to hold yourself accountable and set your own expectations. Decide what you'll be putting out for the world to see. Don't allow anybody else to create your narrative for you. Don't allow somebody else to say, say what you're going to what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. No, you do it your way. Like that uh, song that Jay-Z sampled uh, by Frank Sinatra, I did it my way. Like I did it my way, despite what everybody else said, despite what everybody else thought, I did it the way that I wanted to do it. You need to set the bar for yourself. Don't worry about the bar that someone else has said, like, oh, they set the bar. Like, no, nah, I'm going to change that. I'm going to set the bar for myself so that you don't feel like you're in competition with others. So that you don't look and compare your life to what everybody else is doing or what everybody else has done or haven't done. Set your own standards. You need to look up and say, that's that's the west where I'm going. So I'm going to get there. Whether you get past the other person, that doesn't matter because that has nothing to do with you at all. Once you do that, then you're psyching yourself out because you're always going to look in that next lane. You're always going to look and see what they're doing. You're always going to figure out how can I mimic what they're doing that's working for them. Nah, nah, just, just do what's working for you. Find your comfort level, find your groove, and just constantly focus on that and put all your energy into that.
and that's how you really go ahead and bring the things that you want to come into uh, real life, that's how you're going to bring them because you're creating it for yourself. That wraps up today's episode, everybody. I want to say thank you for listening as usual. And like I said, go ahead and shoot me a message. Check out the website if you want to find out a little bit more about the coaching program. If you don't got me on Instagram, Dorian Jones underscore. I'm a real cool dude. I respond to people and we're going we gonna to enjoy ourselves, people. Remember, we're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time. And I want to tell everybody again, enjoy your holiday with your family. And I will see you next time. Everybody has greatness within, even you.